guys, welcome back to the channel. So before we get into this, I'm going to put the comment of the day up. If you guys want to take part in it, all you have to do is leave a comment and I randomly choose them from my new notifications. Before we get into this, happy Halloween, all of my ghoul friends. I am so excited. It's my favorite day of the year. October is my favorite month of the year. You guys already know that if you've been here for a while. Uh, let me know what you guys are doing for Halloween. It's so funny because Halloween is my favorite day of the year and I never ever do anything. It's a very rare moment when I do something. I mean, I'm going to be doing stuff by myself. I'm going to be carving pumpkins and just like watching Halloween things and, you know, nostalgic Halloween things. But um, what are you guys doing? Whatever you're doing, please be safe, uh, whatever it is that you guys are doing. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below. So today we're doing two new worlds. Well, they're not new. They're new to me. I'm taking a look at two worlds that I've never looked at before. This one, which is Silent Hill, and I'm going to be taking a look at Bellatrix, which is a alien type of world. So we're gonna do that. This is a pretty small world, so this one I can probably get through pretty quickly, but I'm telling you right now this is gonna be a long video, more than likely, since I'm taking a look at two worlds. So grab your snack and grab your drink. We're gonna get into this. Now, I'm assuming, obviously, not I'm assuming, I mean it's obviously based off of Silent Hill, the game. Uh, it has been quite some time since I have played any Silent Hill game, but I am quite excited to take a look at it. So there are some empty lots over here and on the download page, it said that there were, you know, a place where you could download the lots and have the extra content. But when I went to that download, it said that it was no longer there. So I just went to the Sims 3 website and downloaded it from there and it's just whatever is there. So I'll have it in the description if you guys want to take a look at it. Uh, but we have two places that we can move in right off. So we have the junkyard house. Now this house, or this house, this world is probably going to be pretty bare, like the homes, you know, because it's, you know, obviously like Silent Hill, like look at this one right here. So we have the junkyard house. I mean, you can come over here and get all kinds of trash if you guys want, but here is the junkyard house. We have a refrigerator and a bathroom. No table, but we do have a shovel. Uh, and then over here we have another refrigerator. So there's uh, no bed here. There's no bed here. There's got to be something hidden somewhere in here. But uh, that's the first home. And the second one, come on, I'm trying to cancel. The second one is over here. So let's take a look at this one and see what we have. So this is the other lot right here. Everything, of course, is super creepy and abandoned. I'm here for that, you guys know. So we're gonna go down a floor or two and we have a little living space in the basement, which honestly, I love, like, there used to be a home that was a basement home near me. Like, it was just literally underground. And I thought it was the coolest thing because I live in the Midwest and tornadoes are a big old thing. So I I would not be mad about living in, in a place like this. This is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. We've got a whole ass hay bale right here just chilling. Some empty plates because I guess somebody was eating in here. Uh, but, you know, you got what you need. There's a bed in here. We have a bath room over here and we have a kitchen area we've got this one's pretty luxurious compared to the last one we looked at so none of these can be purchased furnished so I'm gonna cheat and purchase this one furnished and then we're gonna take a peek around town and see what else we so have all of the absolutely annoying things happened but we do live right next to the cemetery the haunted moon state cemetery so let's take a look at it i am loving the foggy spooky vibes of this world so much i mean you can barely see anything but i love this like this is this is definitely my type of world so we've just got you know the regular regular things here and there's nothing inside here oh my goodness but there is this little grim reaper statue inside here um but it's just like your regular cemetery it's spooky i am here for the vibes of it with the the fog and everything of that sort um we also live next door to this but what is this over here i 
I, I don't really know a whole lot about the Silent Hill games. It's been many, many years since I've played it. Uh, but if you guys are huge Silent Hill fans, please let me know how accurate this is to to the game, which again, I'm assuming is what, what this world is supposed to be about. So that was just like a little empty lot. This looks like, is it a park maybe? Sort of possibly a park. Um, we've got a place to grill over here and this is like, just got some books and stuff. So it's just like a regular old lot where I guess if you're, you know, if you're hiding, there's places to go to the bathroom and things of that sort. Uh, and there's also PCs here, but I am, I'm, I'm here for the vibe of it. I really, really am. I already really love this. Uh, these must be some homes. Let me see here. Oh, somebody lives here. Okay. So somebody lives here. Let's take a look inside of this home, which this is what it looks like on the outside. We've got our little creepy, creepy ice cream man following us around as usual. So let me see. Okay. This is interesting. Let's look downstairs. So we've got a one bed. We're very short on things here. We have one tiny bed over here. And we have a place to, well, we, our kitchen's kind of interesting, but you know what? I, I like this. It's just so different. Wait a minute. This door is like, okay. I saw somebody else do the doors like this and I don't remember what world it was, but I thought it was so different and cool. It's literally just the door. It's, it's not that different and cool, I guess. But to me, I was like, okay, I would have never thought to even do that. Um, but yeah, they did that as well. So we've got a PC on the ground here. You know, we've got the whole, the whole thing going on. All right. Oh, I need to close this because I won't be able to look at anything else if I do not do that. So let's close that up and let's go ahead and see what's next door. We have nobody living here. So let's open her up and see what we have. So upstairs we have a single bed. Downstairs we have, you know, the necessities. I guess we can keep warm. Uh, wait, where's the bathroom? Where's, where's, the, where's the bathroom? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. It's over. Wait. Oh, okay. I thought this was a separate home. I was like, wait a minute. Where's the bathroom? Okay. So there's like a kitchen and a little bathroom over here. And then there's also, you know, this place down here to keep warm and a one bed. Okay. I was really confused for I'm a moment. I'm trying to figure out what I want to look at next. We have this big park over here or what I'm assuming is a park. So... Let's see what is going on. I just love how everything's just kind of like run down and spooky. Okay, we have this guy here. What what are you doing and are you painting anything anything important? Or are you just kind of doing your thing? I think he's just kind of doing his thing. Uh, but I just really like the way this world is kind of, you know, spooky and abandoned and, and such. Uh, but there's a little park here and there's some stuff here for the kiddos to also enjoy. Uh, let's see over here. We have some picnic tables we can grill. We can also have a bonfire. Oh my gosh, love some bonfires. Love the smell of bonfires for sure. Uh, we have the bathrooms over here. I don't think there's anything in here. It's kind of hard to see with all of the fog, but I really wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, there's also another graveyard over here, I think. Let's see what this is looking like over here because we just had one right by us, but there's also this one. So, okay, okay. Just like a little, a little lot here where you can come in and chill. And then I don't see any graves at this one, but Maybe I'm missing them, but there's also, you know, you can come over here and get, uh, get a part-time job. So there's another graveyard. We have oh, an elementary school and then the hospital. Okay. So here is the school area. It looks like there's different like rooms, classrooms, and such up here. Again, it's all pretty abandoned looking. And then down here we have some more stuff. Oh, and it looks like we've got some world adventure type of stuff. I actually didn't even look to see what this world needs. So I apologize for that. But it looks like there's some world adventure stuff in here. 
Um, so that's that's this lot. And then so I want- here is the hospital. Let's take a look and see. Can we turn on or set intensity bright so that we can maybe see a little bit better? Uh, some of the lights, I guess, aren't on. Maybe there aren't a whole lot of lights, but lights. But this is the hospital area. And then we've got, oh, we've got, <laughs> we've got this guy just, uh, you know, looking pretty happy to be here, you know, just chilling right there, dead as can be. <laughs> um, okay. And it looks like there's also something over here. What was upstairs? Okay. Nothing, nothing there. Just a bunch of emptiness. Okay. And then down here in the main part of the hospital, there's a fridge and some more hospital beds and rooms. And there's a pool over here, which is quite interesting. Alrighty, do we have anything downstairs? We have just a couple of things. Something else from World Adventures, maybe? Um, no, no, nothing else downstairs. Okay. I really love the abandoned vibe of this for some, some strange reason. We have a fire station, but I can almost bet that this is the Sense of Valley one from the looks of it. Maybe they changed it. They did not. So this is just the Sunset Valley uh, fire station. We have Bless the Little Deers Park. Okay. So let's see what we've got in here. Okay. So this is like an actual little park. It has a pool and then some stuff for the kiddos to play on. And what else? I feel like you really would need a story to play in this. This is so cool. I love it so much, but I feel like for me, realistically, I wouldn't be able to play in this unless I had a specific story to go along so with it. this is the other place and it's kind of empty. It's just all an empty lot. And then this was Hobo Alley, which I just have to see. I just have to see what is going on in here. All right. This looks like this is also an empty little place as well. Uh, ooh, this is kind of calling my name. I don't know why the shape of this kind of was calling my name. It's kind of reminded me of something. Sort of, sort of limp mansion vibes. If you are so from upstairs, the we have a toilet, just a toilet, but there are some rooms here that you can add more stuff. We have another, you know, restroom and a bedroom over here. And then go down a floor and we have this big open space. This is actually quite a nice home. I actually really, really like this. I would love to see someone like fully furnish this or try to fully furnish this myself. I really like that so one. So I'm interested what this is. So let's see. Uh, okay, so it's a home. Okay, so somebody lives here. So let me hopefully get this kind of all loaded up because this is a massive lot. And let's see what this huge ass lot looks like on the inside. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's find some light. All right, so this is the top floor. It is massive. There's all kinds of things pretty much like everywhere. And you know, there's just like the random things obviously because that's just the way it is. And we have a bunch of bathrooms and couple of places to sleep and everything's not loaded up but it, this world for some reason it's a small world but it's taking my game forever to load it up it looks like there's like a bit of a kitchen space here and then downstairs we have more beds more bathrooms more space holy moly this is massive do you guys see how freaking massive this is. It's almost like a hotel or something. I don't know. And there's also this whole downstairs area, place to dig through some trash. We've got cars. We've got a bunch more space and some more beds and things of that sort. This is like the main area. It seems like this is like, it's like this is the house and then they rent out everything else to everyone. I don't know. This part right here is quite nice though. Uh, and then of course we have this, all this stuff outside here. We have all kinds of things. This is just massive. It is just freaking massive. And there's a pool. Is this not like, wait, what was the name of this? It looks like somebody lived here, but it looks like it's like a hotel. That's what it looks like. It, it has to be a hotel, right? Yeah, it has to be a hotel 
or apartments or something of that sort. It's probably apartments is what it should be. Yeah, it's definitely apartments. Wow, the next okay. next thing that caught my eye was this massive place right here. Wait, how much did that say? Okay, let's open this up. Nobody lives here, but this massive, massive place was also calling my name. So let's see. We have a bed and a tub in this place. And then, okay. Okay, okay. I, I see what it is now. Okay, I get it. I see where we're at and what we're doing here. Um, I love this. <laughs> I love this. Why? I don't know. I just think it's pretty cool that this is included in the game. So we have that and we've got some place to work out. I guess like your rec room area. We have the kitchen area. I mean, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a prison, but I, I maybe, is it not? I don't know. That's the vibe I'm getting. Well, look at this one because it looks quite interesting from the outside. So is this more like apartments or like townhomes or something? That is kind of the vibe I'm getting here. Uh, but oh, okay, you know what? This is reminding me of a Sims 2 apartment, sort of. That's what I'm kind of feeling for this. But let's go ahead and look inside and see what we've got going on. Um, where, wh what's going on here? What is there, okay, it looks like there's, it's just blank. It's all blank, but you could kind of fill it and add what you need. But this is definitely reminding me of an apartment from the We're Sims 2. next door to this home right here. And let's see what this one looks like inside. We've got some more empty spaces up here. I would love to see these things filled. You know, like I would love to see what somebody did with these like and fill them up because these would be really good homes for like supernatural and stuff like that and Moonlight Falls, just like the insides of it, they're just like very kind of creepy. So I would love to see something of that sort. Let's look at one more home. I'm gonna go ahead and look at the one next door because this one is huge. Wait, is this? No, it's not, I, no. No, it looks like a Sunset Valley home, but I don't think it is. Uh, let's look inside and see if this one is also empty yeah this one is also empty so this is like a decorator's dream to just like fill these rooms oh my goodness i would love to see these like built just spooky or filled up which is like spooky supernatural there's so much space there's so much freaking space in this home all right i'm gonna close this up i'm gonna make sure there's nothing else i want to look at this is a very interesting world i feel like I don't know if I said this, but I feel like this has to be a world that you play in with a very specific story um, and very specific Sims, but it's really, really cool. I love the spookiness of it for sure, but I'm curious what this is. Like, it just looks kind of interesting because none of these really, well, not all of them, but some of these just don't say what they are, um, but this looks like a place to just kind of chill then downstairs but i love all the fog i really do it just adds to it and and i'm here for it but i am going to wait a minute this home right here is kind of is this a home okay there's something about this before i go anywhere i just have to i just have to look inside also so let me oh my gosh this is gonna be such a long video ah uh, but i want to really look inside this and see if there's anything okay now this one oh my goodness okay this <laughs> this I love. This could be used in so many different spooky worlds. I am obsessed. We have a bedroom, a bedroom, a little kitchen area, bathroom. I think this is probably my favorite lot, like home lot out of all of them. Like this is so cute. This one is really, really cute. And I like that it's fully furnished and oh, and there's even a place out here for the kiddos to play. I really, really like this one. I'm Glad I actually saw this, to be completely honest, because it kind of is reminding me of like a pumpkin face, sort of, in some weird way. But anyways, I am going to hop on over to Bellatrix. We're going to take a look at that world as well. Like I said, this is going to be a long video, so I hope you have snacks and drinks because right, guys, we don't So we are now in Bellatrix, which is kind of like Lunar Lakes, and I'm pretty sure Lunar Lakes is something 
required for this. Uh, well, yeah, it has to be required for it. Um, but I don't have all of the things that are required for it. I will have everything linked down below so you guys can check it out for yourself and see if you are able to download this. This is a bit bigger of a world. I am pretty excited. It's kind of looking like some possible, like maybe futuristic type of trailers there. Maybe, I'm not sure, but this is a world. This one is pretty massive. So we're going to see what we can look at for this world. I'm pretty excited to take a look. So let's start with where we can move when we first, you know, open up this world. Is this a festival lot? It looks like it. There's a little skating rink here. Okay, let's let's get over uh, to the first uh, first home here before I'm like getting out of hand here. Uh, so we have a single dome home. Let's look at this one. It looks pretty dang neat. Uh, I like the purple. It's very bright. I'm pretty interested in a alien type of world. Lunar Lakes was a specific world. Like you definitely have to have specific Sims for that. Uh, I don't play in it often. I, it's probably my least played world, but it is very cool. Uh, let's see. This house on the outside, I really like. It looks pretty cool. So inside, we have a bed up here. We have a bathroom. And then downstairs, we have a little empty room here, which I'm not quite sure what could go in there. But there's a little empty room with our kitchen and our little living space here. I like that one. That one's pretty dang cool. Um, where else can we move in? I'm making sure I'm not missing anything. There are some empty lots too. If you would like to build a home to move into. Um, okay, so we have that row and then we have these homes over here. Okay, let's see. Uh, the alchemist house. Okay, wait, wait, are they the same? I think they're the, I think they're the same. Uh, but this looks like this might be like, the spooky area, possibly. Um, I'm pretty sure this one and the other one is the same. It looks like it is. I will double check, uh, but I can already tell by the outside. I'm gonna love this one. Oh my goodness. Okay. Inside, yes, it has the supernatural type of vibe. You know, we've got the books here. We've got that little painting. I'm here for it. The lantern, yes, please. We have one bed in here, which you can probably put in a double bed if you wanted to, because you know, you gotta woohoo. Or you could just woohoo in the shower, which is right here. And that's always my thought. Like why, I don't know. Do not know. Uh, but we have the gym cutting machine and the alchemy station. Okay, this one I really, really like. I, I'm just digging this one, like for sure. For so the other one is exactly the same and we oh okay we have one little home over here and then this row of i i'm really i'm gonna save those for last because i feel like i'm probably gonna like these the best because they are giving trailer vibes and i'm i'm happy about that so let's see we have single starter single starter so i think these two are going to be the same as well from the looks of it one bed one bath so let's see what it looks like on the inside. I'm here for the futuristic home. Uh, this looks pretty cute on the outside. Not gonna lie, I'm here for that. Let's look inside. Oh my goodness, I really, really like this one. I really, really like this one. Okay, so we have the one bedroom over here, the bathroom, but something about this space I'm living for. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like the aqua teal rug or carpeting or whatever it is. Why did I say carpeting? Carpeting. Like, why did I say it like that? No clue. Uh, but I like so this one as far as I can see, these homes right here are the last of them. So I think that these are going to be similar. Uh, let's start at the Insta Home Deluxe and see if they are the same or if there's little differences. But I am telling you right now, that's a, why do we need, why do we need two cars? Why do we need two cars is what I want to know. Two, wait, do they all have, why do we need these cars? I have no idea. Uh, but this is definitely giving futuristic trailer home vibes. So I am very excited. Oh my goodness. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. I, I love this home. This is perfect. I am obsessed. Definitely going to move into this one. 
I love this so much. So we have a room for a couple of bunk beds or a bunk bed. Uh, we've got a bathroom for them and also the main room. And you can have a baby or toddler and Binks might be in the background because he is being sassy tonight. Uh, and then we have a, another bathroom here. We have our little living space and our kitchen. <gasps> Oh, I love so this. So this one right here is the exact same as that one. I am assuming these two are going to be a little bit different since they have Insta Home B and A. Uh, but let's take a look. So far, I am a fan of these homes quite a bit. So, okay, they do look a little bit different on the outside. So it looks like there will be some differences. So in here, oh my gosh, I love this one too. So this one is just a single bedroom. We have a bathroom and living space, kitchen area. I really like this one. It's making me want to play into the future so dang bad. Okay, I love these homes so much. Let's take a peek at this one here. But why do they all have cars? Like, all of these have cars to start out and that's why you can't purchase them furnished like that's the whole situation so this is just like a smaller version where you have a single bed but you also have like your little kitchen living space uh, over here but all of these this whole row of homes are literally so i perfect. believe all of the things have happened so we live right next door to what looks like a laundromat and this is, looks like it is the community gardens. I was really curious because of the building and it looks like it is just the community gardens, which is pretty exciting. <gasps> pumpkins! Yes, I will be carving a couple of pumpkins tonight and I am so damn excited, but it looks like they even have all of the grapes from World Adventures. Oh my gosh, the pomegranate tree. All kinds of stuff here. So this is pretty cool. Even a dang money tree. Oh my gosh, love that. I am curious, even though I don't do laundry in The Sims because it just really, Sims 4 has literally scarred me with the whole like lint thing. Um, but I'm just not a fan of doing laundry in The Sims. It really just stresses me out and I don't know why, but this is actually a very cute laundry map. So there is that. Uh, what do I want to look at? I don't even know because this world is, is massive. Is festival lot? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There is so much. Okay. So you can get married here. It's festival lot e <laughs> but i don't think it's a festival lot there's also a place for you okay so showtime we got some showtime going on we can go skate there's also a little park over here for the kiddos you guys know how i feel about that we've got bathrooms um what else do we have what's over here place to get some coffee okay so i guess that's not a festival lot it's just kind of a fun little park, which I like. I kind of didn't care. Wait a minute, I'm seeing spooky. <gasps> Wait a minute, I'm okay, I'm seeing spooky things, you guys know. All right, so we have newer barn that opens at 10 a.m., which I might go ahead and let her just come visit. And then we have the Elixir consignment shop and the Vault of, a vault of Antiquity. And we can come over here and go, you know, broom riding if we choose to do so. So let's look inside here. Uh, upstairs, we have our gym cutting machine, the little train station, which our fairies can go and enjoy. And we have the alchemy station. And I have seen this before. What world did I see this in? I do not know. Maybe I didn't, but this looks super familiar to me. Is it the lunar? It could, is it? I don't know. It's, it's very familiar to me, but I really, really like it for sure. Somebody will let me know in the comments down below, I'm sure, where I've seen this particular and exact lot. Maybe I'm just crazy. That is also possible. Uh, I'm going to have her go over here to the newer barn, which looks like it is more than likely a bar of some sort. And since she's there and I kind of was interested in these homes, I'm going to take a look at this one. Oh my goodness, this looks like a massive home. I am pretty sure that this is unpopulated um, from what I remember. Okay, let's look inside and see. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Okay, this is a very, very nice home. There's even a beautiful purple pool out here. This is a gorgeous home. There's so much space. There's so much room for activities. Uh, we've got one, two, three bedrooms. 
three bedrooms upstairs. There's even a kitchen upstairs. So what's downstairs? Oh, it's just the it's just the cars. Again, two more of the what is going on with the Yoshimoto Yo Yomoshoto evasion? Whatever the name of that is. Why are there so many of those cars in this world? I would love to know. I am obsessed with this home though. This is really, really beautiful. Um, I kind of want to look at the other one as well, which is literally like right over here. This one right here is kind of calling my name and it has a barn. So I'm assuming we've got some pets. Yes, we definitely have some pet stuff going on here. So let's open this lot up real quick and see what it looks like. Okay, so wait a minute, this is like, Wait a minute, this is like the same. This is the same. Okay, so this is literally the same as the home I just looked at. Yeah, it's literally the same, except outside there is stuff for like horses and things of that sort. So I particularly like this one better because I love the, you know, fact that you can have pets on this lot. So I like this one a little bit better since there's stuff for horses. Uh, let's see, is she at the barn yet? I think. I think she is, or the newer barn, or whatever the heck it's called. So we come inside. We've got some supernatural type of things going on. There is a professional bar. So girl, why don't you come over here and just order a bio booster? Because why not? I'm also using my current household sim in case I didn't mention that, which I know I did not mention that. So uh, it looks like there's some things to do here. There's just like this one one level to do stuff and this is a little abandoned abandoned building but there is a pool table and you know places to kind of chill there's even the fairy fairy house over here in the corner love to see it okay i am very excited that there are some spooky things kind of involved in this world um so this home, I believe, yeah, this was one of the homes that I looked at in the beginning. These two look identical, so let's take a look at one of them, which I really like these homes, okay? Like, I feel like this is gonna be a really nice world. Well, it, it is a really nice world, but it's just so different and I'm here for it. So upstairs we have a single bedroom, a double bed, we've got a bathroom. And then downstairs, it looks like we have our little living room space and a kitchen. And I feel like there could be a bathroom here. I feel like this is also a home that I have seen, but I don't know where I saw it. Maybe it's, maybe these are from Into the Future or from Lunar Lakes. These could be Lunar Lakes homes that are just like remade, or maybe they're exactly as Lunar Lakes had them, but it looks like we have two more double homes that, well, by double homes, I mean they're identical homes is what I should have said. Um, but let's look inside of this one here and see what we have. Ooh, okay. I like these a lot for sure. We've got two huge rooms. For some reason, I'm like getting like 70s vibes and I don't know why, but I love it so damn much. And we also have a shared bathroom upstairs. Downstairs, we have a cozy little place to play some video games and watch TV. We have a PC, kitchen, another little half bath here. Okay, I like this one. So next to that home is this one here. And again, with the damn, <laughs> the damn cars. Why do we need this many cars in this world? I just don't know, but oh my goodness. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. I am so in need of an Into the Future. I have got to play Into the Future with my current household. We're gonna just make it like an all-in-one for my current household because I love this. We have a bathroom down here or half bath. We have our kitchen, living space, all of that stuff. Every time I do these like world overviews, it makes me want to play a specific pack when they're like heavy on that pack. And this one is making me want to play Into the Future. I love Into the Future. I feel like it doesn't get enough love, but it is literally- Oh, here we go. Here's a festival lot. Here's a festival lot, okay. So there is a festival park here, which is pretty damn exciting. You come over here and have a hot dog eating contest. And there's also things for the kids to do, which we do love. And inside here we have 
bathrooms and just a place to kind of chill and you can also grab a cappuccino or whatever the case may be so there is a festival lot there's also an arcade girl you're visiting the arcade we have a fountain area the pool consignment community fire department now this does not look like the regular community fire department so let's look inside okay so this is definitely a different fire department than the sunset valley one we love that so much this is a pretty nice one this is a very big lot there's a whole lot of space back here for sure uh let's go to the pool area i'm kind of curious what the pool looks like it looks like it's massive oh wow okay let's look inside bathrooms and then downstairs so the pool is pretty pretty big there's even a slip and slide for sure we love that you can come golf over here there's a couple of spring riders for the toddlers you can play some music this pool is really really pretty and look at the dang view like you go swimming and this is what so you she see just like, arrived at the arcade and i kind of wanted to look at this so all right, I am remembering there was some store content and the reason that I'm remembering that is because of this right here, because uh, this is a store content item. So I guess there are some store content items that would be probably replaced with something else. But this is a fun little lot. I am getting, again, Sims 2 vibes. I love when I feel like Sims 2 vibes. This thing reminds me of Sims 2. I never play with this in Sims 3, but I sure as heck did in Sims 2. This is a nice little lot for your Sims to kind of have some fun, take some photos, do a little rock climbing wall, ski ball. Okay, there's a lot for your Sims to do in this world. I am already seeing that. Um, we have a lounge and we have a pool club. There's another lounge, gallery, a library, education center, and fitness center. Kind of curious what the library looks like because this is a pretty massive looking one. Oh my gosh, there's this little thing here. Oh, it, it disappeared. Hold on. Where you can come over here and you can pick a fruit and it, it'll give you a different skill. So that thing's pretty cool. Um, wow. Okay, I like this. This is a little PC area. Computers. And then some stuff. Over oh, and then there's a room for the kids. Oh my goodness. Okay. Also come over here and do some clay and, you know, dabble and purchase some scrap. We've got some ambition. So there's a little bit of everything in this world I am noticing. And I love that. Oh, there's another tree over here. Uh, another little tree over here. You can pick a fruit. Okay. Okay um let's look at can we we can't look there yet because it's not open um this one is open so let's take a look at the lounge really quick see what we have so this is the fancy little lounge area there's no one over here to serve us drinks or food how rude but i do like this lot oh it's very pretty you can come over here and also throw some darts. The starting okay. line. One of my favorite bands is the starting line. All right, let's go ahead and see what this is. Ooh, okay. I like this one. This is definitely like a, it's giving me like Buffalo Wild Wings vibes. And I love that so much because I love Buffalo, Buffalo Wild Wings. Actually, I like Wing Street a hell of a lot more, but it's definitely giving Buffalo Wild Wings vibes, like just come here and chill and watch like sports on TV, I guess, uh, if that's what you do. I don't watch sports anymore, so no idea, but I really like this lot for so sure. So this house right here is kind of calling my name while I'm waiting for the um, venues to open. This looks very beautiful, but how the fuck many cars do we need? One, two, Oh, the Reefor. Absolutely not. That is why half of these homes are so expensive. No way do we need that many cars. Open this up and let's get out of here. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, I like this. Oh, this is a big family home. Okay, so we one, two, three, four bedrooms. Five, actually, because there's a toddler baby room right here. So five bedrooms upstairs. We have one, two, three bathrooms. Oh my oh my goodness okay 
I love this one. This is definitely one of my favorite homes, like my favorite bigger homes, but I just don't understand why we need all of these cars. You're making these homes so much more expensive than they so need I'm to be. So I'm taking a look at the pool club because this should be open now, and then I'm gonna look at the lounge and so come well. chill on, and also a place to take pictures, dance, and then downstairs we have our drinking area, food area, hot tub. Ooh, we got a hot tub and blow some bubbles and go to the bathroom if you need to do so. so I think but the last one I'm gonna look at is this fusion lounge right here. I think I'm gonna take a look at this and see what we have. I kind of like this whole area. I feel like it's like a downtown area or something of that sort. So, ooh, okay. So over here we have a bunch of bubble blowing stations. Over here we have a bar karaoke place. Over here we have the pool table and this little thing here. I don't even know what this thing is called, uh, but, but it's there. We have an empty space over here. Downstairs we have the dance floor. We have a place to take some photos. Oh my goodness, we have the, the okay, I was gonna say, are these the bouncers? We have the mixologists and they're just, they're all matching, which is kind of cool. I, I like the fact that they're all matching uh, and there is nothing else downstairs, it looks like, but this is a pretty fancy lot as well. I feel like I've looked at a lot, but also haven't looked at a whole, whole lot. I looked at a lot, but I feel like I'm missing missing some things, but I'm also trying to make sure this video is not going to be a million years long, which, which it will be, but I am very happy with both of the worlds that I looked at. Silent Hill was very different and you know, I like the spooky vibe of it. I like how it's like foggy, but I feel like you have to have a specific story to play there possibly. Maybe I feel like for me personally, this world is really, really awesome. This one is probably my favorite of the two. Um, it's more into the future vibes where I feel like this, there's a lot more to do as opposed to the other one where there is, there's a lot to do, but there, and, but it's like really empty because obviously it's supposed to be Silent Hill. Uh, but this one is one that I will play in. There are plenty of homes that I've seen, especially the one that I had my sim move into and like the trailer stuff. I, it's very much into the future and I am going to be saving some things and definitely going to be keeping this world. This one is really, really cool. So let me know if you've played in either of these worlds, if you plan on downloading them and playing in any of these worlds. Also, I said it in the beginning, but happy freaking Halloween, you guys. Be safe. Be careful. Whatever you are doing, let me know what you guys are doing in the comments down below. I already told you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to be sitting at home watching probably Garfield Halloween and carving a damn pumpkin by myself because I am old and that is just what I do. Anyways, I love you guys so, so, so much. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, comment, turn on your notifications. All of that fun stuff. I love you all and I'll see you in the next video.